Please, may I crave your indulgence to join me and give the LOC of the 2023 ASFM Kigali International Forensic Conference a standing ovation for the excellent organizational work. Let's give them a standing ovation, please, the LOC. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We thank the ASFM Board of Trustees, chaired by Professor Stephen Codner, former director of Victoria Institute of Forensic Medicine, Australia, for guiding and backing us through the years on the path of relevance for Africa. We acknowledge our partners, especially the International Committee of the Red Cross and other sponsors who believe in the ASFM and support our vision. And we acknowledge the solidarity of global forensic organizations such as the International Association of Forensic Sciences and American Academy of Forensic Sciences. We are proud of the Rwandan Forensic Laboratory, the main institution anchor for the conference. We cannot thank you enough for the steering leadership and operational framework you have provided in setting a high benchmark of standard and hosting an international event that will remain in our pleasant memories for a long time. To the Director General, we say, Murakoze. We also extend the same gratitude to the line ministries, departments, our government, and the good people of Rwanda. Finally, to the ESFM members and delegates from Rwanda and across Africa and beyond, without you, there will not be any conference. Please, let us actively participate in the scientific feast prepared in all sessions and also enjoy the sights and sounds of Rwanda. Let us make a collective commitment in our respective forensic practices to rely on, not on speculation or conjecture, but on evidence in the symphony of consistency, on evidence that will stand the test of forensic scrutiny, and on evidence that takes a holistic approach, including the consideration of any peculiar circumstances. It is on these firm foundations and sustainable construct that our voice, vision, and values for Africa will prevail. Welcome to ASFM Kigali 2023. It is a privilege to be here in Kigali for the introduction and later this morning the launch of the African Academy of Forensic Sciences, AFSA. First, a big thank you to ASFM and the RFL of Rwanda for their incredible support to AFSA in its inception and growth. I want to thank you for doing this for Africa. At this moment, I welcome the Honorable Minister and the AFSA IE Vice President to please join me on the, on the podium. I hand over to the Minister and the Vice President of AFSA. Chief Justice, uh, our guest of honor, uh, distinguished guests, I do believe that the main purpose of this conference, I, as is highlighted in, the, in this uh, uh, theme that we have, uh, is largely knowledge sharing and deepening uh, our understanding of the key advancements in for forensic science. Forensic science plays a key role in the quality justice service delivery. It is therefore of par paramount importance to have forensic professionals gathered here in Kigali with the aim of discussing matters that will ultimately provide solutions to forensic science uh, on the African continent, but also in the whole world because science transcends borders. This conference, which is uh, an initiative of the ASFM, has provided an important forum for cooperation collaboration, constructive debate, and effective interchange of views on advancement in forensic science and its important role in scientific evidence before the courts. 
it is a noble endeavor that you all undertake. Uh, and on behalf of the government of Rwanda, I do commend your efforts. I do expect that the discussions in the course of these two, three days will provide important uh, insights. And I am confident that all of us, individually and collectively, will come away with very valuable lessons. Before I invite the Chief Justice, uh, who is the guest of honor, uh, to give his keynote speech and uh, officially open the meeting, let me invite all of you who have a day or two to spare to visit other parts of Rwanda. I can assure you that there are certain parts of Rwanda that if you visit, you will certainly reconcile with any part of yourself which you're in conflict with. Uh, and this is a guarantee that I'm giving you. Uh, uh, with these remarks, Honorable Chief Justice, I do take this opportunity to respectively invite you to deliver your insightful remarks. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. I want to thank also Rwanda Forensic Laboratory and the partners that join effort together to organize such a tremendous event. And also to like to express my sincere gratitude to all forensic professionals, academicians, head of forensic office, prosecutors, lawyers, scientists, investigators, doctors from Europe, from America, from Australia, Asia, Africa, who travel miles away to Rwanda to attend this conference. In today's complex and rapidly changing environment, where people's expectations for quality justice are high, many countries have been working to transform and modernize the justice system by implementing reforms aimed at strengthening the use and application of forensic science evidence with the ultimate goal of improving efficiency in the administration of justice. It is in this regard, as the Director General of the Rwanda Forensic Laboratory rightly point out, that the Rwanda Forensic Laboratory was uh, established with autonomous status, which allows this institution to work independently and deliver indisputable services. Having a forensic institution that supports the justice system with evidence based of, on science and technology for use in our court of law and other justice bodies is a great achievement to this country, but uh, I think to all countries. Besides providing are relevant scientific evidence, the Wonder Forensic Laboratory Services contribute towards reducing the turnaround uh, time of judicial uh, proceedings. It is worth noting that uh, the Rwanda Forensic Laboratory has now concluded strategic partnership as, uh, again, the Director General uh, of uh, the laboratory uh, rightly point out, uh, with international bodies and organizations and other sister institutions in order to enhance its uh, expertise. The Association of uh, uh, at the African uh, Science Forensic Medicine International Conference is a good initiative that brings together hundreds of uh, scientists, forensic practitioners, and other players from the forensic science community to exchange knowledge in the fast increasing number of forensic science disciplines, as you know. And in fact, there are numerous challenges and issues that need to be addressed in the forensic and legal medicine, being for forensic pathology, toxicology, anthropology, entomology, personal damage evaluation, insurance medicine, clinical risk management, medical liability, and medical ethics, etc. This highlights really the choice of uh, this conference theme 
that is harmonization of evidence-based forensic science practice in Africa. If I may speak for my colleagues from the judiciaries in Africa, and as I have uh, had an opportunity to express the same view with the management of the Rwanda Forensic Laboratory, we in the judiciary, we are very grateful for the invaluable contribution of forensic and medical legal experts in our duty to deliver quality and timely justice. It is my, ho my hope, however, that during this conference, forensic science shortcomings and weaknesses that continue to plague forensic science with the risk that if in address they, 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 they may uh, lead to miscarriage of justice, it is my hope that these kind of shortcomings and uh, weaknesses will be discussed and uh, solution to fix them agree upon. Uh, distinguished uh, participants, distinguished forensic uh, science practitioners and professionals, I would like to conclude my short remarks and um, once again uh, by thanking you for having devoted your precious time to attend this conference, which is yet another testimony of your commitment to uphold uh, stand high standards and reliability of forensic science evidence for a better administration of justice, which is much needed to foster peace, security, and prosperity in our continent, but also all over the world. I wish you a successful conference and an enjoyable stay in Rwanda. I therefore declare the African Society of Forensic Medicine International Conference officially open. Thank you very much for your kind attention.